ladies and gentlemen. of the world famous the university love the best podcast of one two three guys but ladies and gentlemen you and i we just call this show all our marketing moves and we are coming to you live today today is monday february the 13th 2020 three ladies and gentlemen how are you doing today ladies and gentlemen today let's talk about something very important ladies and gentlemen let's talk about making connections ladies and gentlemen in order for you to get business in order for you to make some sales to get some business you must start making contacts there's a variety of ways you can go about it you can make connections on the internet. You can make connections off the internet. You can make connections through email. You can make connections through sending people letters in the mail. You can call up people. You can cold call people. Ladies and gentlemen, but the one thing I must tell you, ladies and gentlemen, do not be scared to make contact with people. The worst they can say is no. Ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you like this. Don't be nervous about people saying no. Who cares ladies and gentlemen this is something that i had to go through uh it sucked in the beginning it sucked when people said no because you're like why would they say no and you spend a lot of time thinking about it thinking about it thinking about it. but if you think about it ladies and gentlemen at the end of the day you rather hear no you rather hear no than a i don't know i gotta think about it i'll get back to you you rather hear no 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 than that you want either yes, no, and move on. Now, you must make connections. Um, you want to work with people. You want to, you know, because you, you got to have something. You got to have somebody to sell to. You got to have somebody to help you promote. You got to help, you know, you might need it. You, you might need to borrow somebody's email list. You might want to work with somebody that has a bigger email list than you. There are different things that you want to do, ladies and gentlemen, and you must go out and make the connections. I'm not saying it's not it's not hard. Of course, it's hard. It's hard work. But your the harder you work, the easier it will get in the long run. And I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, that you probably know that you know. It's, it's, it's something that if you ever think about it, we all know it's true. In the beginning, in the beginning stages of anything is where you do the hardest work. It's where you do the grunt, you do the grunt, grunt work in the beginning. In the beginning, you just work and work and work and try to figure it out. And once you get that machine rolling, once you get that machine really rolling, really rocking, people will come looking for you. People will want to work with you. But in the beginning, as anything, nobody wants to work with somebody that they quote unquote don't know. And that's OK. That's fine. But you just keep on. You keep striving. You keep going. And those same people that say no in the beginning, they will turn around and they will want to suck up to you, kiss up to you. Hey, I would like to work with you, you know. When I first started this podcast, there was always, uh, you know, I remember I, I wrote a couple of people and I said, hey, would you like to, uh, you know, get interviewed on the show or whatever? They say, no, 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 no. And then for a while, once a month, I would get somebody to say, hey, uh, I enjoy your podcast. I like your podcast. I would like to introduce you to this guy, that guy, this guy, that guy. Now, none of these people were really who I think my audience would want to talk to. So I didn't, you know, get, I didn't sign them up to interview them or anything like that. But the point is, after a while, people started coming to me. And that's how, that that's going to happen for you as well. That's going to happen for you even more than it happens for me. You, you, you work. You work, you figure it out, and once you figure it out, once you get the machine rolling, it's so much easier. 
this is this is what they don't tell you. The hardest part is just getting started. The hardest part is getting the business off the ground. Once you get the business off the ground, you know how to get a business off the ground. So if something happens, something happens to you, something happens to the business, you have the skills now to get to to come back even stronger, come back even better. So there's never like a bad time. There's never a time where you have to flutter, fret, worry about anything because once you learn these skills, once you get the skill sets down pat, you don't have to worry about, man, I don't know if I can do this. If you got one business started, you can get another business started and another business started and another business started. The hardest thing is getting the first one started. The hardest thing is putting roots into the ground on the first tree. You know, once you learn how to grow a tree, you can grow as many trees as you want. Once you learn how to cook your first hamburger, you can cook as many hamburgers as you want, you know. Um, my parents, they, they go to bingo. They go to bingo a lot now. They're, they're, they're like professionals. And in the beginning, uh, my mom would say, man, it's hard sometimes we're going to that bingo. And they, you know, they yelling numbers at you, this, that, and the other. Now, 20 years later, 30 years later, you see my mom, she's... Uh, Hitting the hitting the thing, boom, boom, boom. She she could talk to you, hit the thing, and know she's about to bingo and everything, and it's 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 uh it's crazy to watch. And that's that's how it is with business, that's how it is with life. Once you get the ball rolling, once you really get the ball down the hill, you know, it's uh it's easy. It's it's beautiful. But don't be afraid to call people, don't be afraid to call call people, don't be afraid to uh Email people, send people packages. <clears throat> the point is, I read this book one time by Chet Holmes. I believe that's his name, Chet Holmes. And he talked about the top 100 people he wanted to work with. He wrote down a bunch of names and he said he wanted to work with these people. And eventually he said he wound up working with like 75 out of the 100 names that he wrote down, you know. And he said he just kept at it. He kept at it. He kept at it. He finally started working with them people. And uh, I think Chet Holmes, I think he died a while ago, but, you know, he wrote he wrote a great book. I had to, I don't know the name of the book, but you can look it up. It was a pretty good book. And, uh, no, it was, it was better than pretty good. It was, it was a great book, actually. You know, I appreciate it, Mr. Chet Holmes. But figure out who, where you want to go, who you want to work with, and write down some names. Write down some people you can get in contact with. If you know somebody that has a bigger email list than you, write down that name and say, hey, hey eventually I'm going to connect with, to them on the email list and I'm going to get some of their email on my list, you know. And you want to um, figure out the who's who of the business that you're in. You want to figure out who's the top dog and then you aim for that. Because we talked about yesterday in the game plan and bonus episode. You know, everybody's... Most people don't want to work that hard. Most people don't want to work hard enough to get to the tippity top. There's very few people at the tip top. But if you just keep going, keep striving, keep pushing, you'll be at the tippity top. And then there'll be more people that, that'll be calling you up, begging, I want to work with you than, than, than the other way around, okay? In the beginning, you're going to be the, you're going to be the peon, you know, you're going to be, the, uh, the 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 semen, you know, the the E one, the E two, you know, you're gonna be the uh, you know the private, and I'm like, hey, I don't know about you, I don't know about you, but once you get, once people see that you're serious, once people once people see that you you're running a legit business, then they'll be calling you up, they'll be saying, hey, I I would I would love to work with you, I would love to do affiliates with you, I would love to do this, I would love to do that, blah 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 blah, and then after that. Everything, everything will be great. By the time you're in your 10th year, 20th year, 30th year of business, man, you'll be raking in the dough, you know? So it's not a big deal. But in the beginning, just remember, call people, contact people, get in contact with people, figure out what you do, what are you doing, what do you want to do, and just call people, email them, call them on the phone, send them letters, you know, I don't care if it's online, offline, get in contact with these people. Um, and do what you do what you do what you need to do that is necessary. Now, tomorrow's episode, we are going to discuss why you should get more than just an email address for 
any everybody that's on your email list. You should get addresses, phone numbers, um, emails. We're gonna t- we're gonna we're gonna discuss that. I'm gonna explain to you why. We we've had an episode about that before, but I need to emphasize why you want people's addresses, phone numbers, and email addresses. Okay, so that's gonna be Tuesday's episode. So we'll be back tomorrow with the all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony Rizzano. Thank you for listening. God bless. We'll be back tomorrow with all new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, I'll talk to you down the road. Peace and God bless. Peace.